Converting Microsoft Access to MySQL Database Tools Move data from an Access Database to a MySQL Database Both Microsoft Access and MySQL provide database management systems that have found wide use in many companies though for different reasons. The main advantage of Microsoft Access is its relative ease of use, while MySQL's strength comes from its versatility. MySQL's versatility allows it to work in conjunction with programs written in various languages as well as even access. It allows multiple user access, makes management of large databases easier, provides increased security, and simplifies backup management. In addition, the MySQL database software is provided free of charge. To migrate from an access database to MySQL, we will be using a free program called DB Tools. DB Tools has a feature that allows us to directly import data from access files. Here's how to convert access data to MySQL, install and configure MySQL or obtain the information need to access pre-existing server. Visit DB Tools software and download the installer for the demo of DB Tools Query IT. If you are in Access 2000, Go to Tools References menu option and click the Microsoft DAO 3.6 Object Library option in the dialog box. Enable DAO, Data Access Objects, by launching DTools, select Options Preferences and choose the DAO 3.6 option. It is not important for you to know what they are. Just know that, if this is not done, the program will crash. Quit and relaunch DB Tools. Now we will establish a connection to your MySQL server. Either click the server icon on the toolbar or go to server add server to create a profile for your new connection. After establishing a connection, use the import data wizard to browse for the access file you want to use. Select the version of access the file was created in as prompted. If you would like to use Access as a front end, open the database from Access and remove the tables you transferred. Using Access as a front end simply means using Access but having the data stored in a MySQL table. Download the MySQL Connector ODBC, Open Database Connection, driver from the MySQL website. An ODBC allows you to create a connection between two or more databases. Run the installer to install the driver. Now there should be a new icon in your control panel that reads either ODBC or data sources. Double click this to open the ODBC data source administrator. With the user DSN tab selected, 
Click on Add. The DSN contains DATA SRSI information. This will allow you to create a new data source and input information necessary for the driver to communicate with the data source. Select My SQL ODBC 3.51 driver from the list of drivers, and click Finish. Fill in the form and create a data source name that you will use to refer to the database when you wish to access it. Click Test Data Source to ensure you have entered your login information correctly. Click OK to create the DSN. Click File Get External Data. You will then be presented with a file browser. As before, choose ODBC Databases, from the drop-down menu at the bottom, and choose your DSN from the list of machine data sources. You will then see a list of all the tables in your MySQL database. Select the table that you want to link, and click OK. It will then prompt you to select a unique record identifier. A unique record identifier is the cell whose value makes a record unique. In your access database you may have an ID number for every record unique to that record. Doing this is very important. You can now access your linked MySQL database through access. This means that the data for your database is now stored in MySQL tables. If you prefer, you could use Access as the front end and continue to use it as you did prior to the migration, although the data is drawn from the MySQL tables, you can still retrieve and work with the information through Access. Required Tools DB Tools Query IT Microsoft Access and MySQL Caution As always you should back up your databases before making any changes. Useful Links ODBC Help